Martin Lawrence Bullard. I don't know whether any of you have had the opportunity uh, to hear Martin through the last couple of days, and I certainly have, and it's a fantastic opportunity to hear one of uh, the world's great international designers and some of his tricks of trade and interest. Uh, sitting next to him is Thomas Hamill, uh, born in America but made Australia home for 21 years. Uh, and again, an international designer. And on this side, Marco Meneguzzi and Greg Natale. So I'd like you please to put your hands together and warmly welcome to the stage. <laughs> now our topic for the day is how will design play out on the international landscape in 2012, guys? But I think before we go into 2012 and lurch into the future, uh, I'd like us to just perhaps cast our eyes back over our shoulders and have a look at the last couple of years. It's been a tough old time for the world, buffeted around uh, through the global financial crisis. And I'm sort of interested to hear, because I know each and every one of you, your businesses have flourished during the last couple of years. How have you found uh, your client's response to this? I might start with you. Uh, Martin, because uh, you've got the celebrity clientele uh, who probably don't even know about the financial crisis. But um, I'm just interested, does it change people's, I don't know, palate, uh, their ideas? Do they feel a bit more internal and perhaps not so splashy and showy? Yeah, it's really, firstly, that was the most wonderful introduction. Thank yes, you so much. Right you oh my God! Of course, <laughs> we haven't even started yet. <laughs> But yes, I mean, you're right. Most of my clientele, certainly over the last few years, have been celebrity performers of one type or the other. So always when the economy kind of collapses, people want more entertaining. So they keep singing, right. keep making money, and I keep spending True. it for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, yes, I mean, one of the things that I noticed is that you would have things like, uh, I would show my clients a dining table, you know, $50,000 or whatever it was, and I get the phone call from the business manager and they go, oh, no, 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 we need to see something else. Oh, really? We need something less expensive. Oh. And then I would show them the $10,000 table or the $15,000 table. Funnily enough, they usually go for the $50,000 table anyway, but the thing that I've learned now is that I have to give options. And you didn't before? Well, you know, you always sort of give options, but now you really want to give monetary options. Mm -hmm. I mean, even some of the wealthiest of my clients uh, have, you know, gone from their five billion to two billion, and suddenly they start to think, oh yeah, maybe I don't want to spend quite so much money. But when you present it to them in a way, in the overall picture of their decor, nine times out of ten, I've still managed to get my way. Of course you would. <laughs> Now, Greg and, and Marco, have you found the same in Australia? Marco, have you found that in Australia as well? There's, there's certainly been a lot of um, red marks going through the quotes. Certainly the clients don't go ahead with everything that you propose, but, but basically 90% they're still, they're still full steam ahead. And, they, and Greg? Look, I found my resi like the residential part of my business was fine. Mm -hmm. But, you know, everybody's still watching the bottom dollar, but the commercial part of the business, for example, retail, has been really tough. Oh yeah, terrible. So, that, so, so the commercial part, yeah, has been really greatly affected, and the poor retailers out there. Doing it very hard, doing they it incredibly are. hard. And Thomas, you started uh, a whole new business. You started a brand called Residence, you've had a book out, you've designed furniture, fabrics, there's no stopping you through well, the global financial crisis. Um, how did you find that it's affected your clients? Well, I found it was a perfect time to reassess and just understand what the new direction is going to be and what they're interested in. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you have to give them more options, as Martin's just said. So you give them options from here, you give them options from there, and then you try and pull them together in a way to... Yeah. I, I also sense. think that any time there's an economic downturn... It's a good assessment. It, 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 it sort of cleans shop a little bit. Yes. And in the design mm -hmm. industry, you've seen, uh, in America, for instance, we've seen lots of the kind of small designers disappear. Sadly, yeah. And, and then the bigger designers have flourished, mm -hmm. in essence, it seems. I mean, certainly, uh, it's a very interesting thing. You kind of, you kind of get through a lot of the, the, the mess. Yep. 
and vision becomes much clearer. And do you think that's due to diversification? I think so, yeah, absolutely. To me. Again, I've had, I have lots of product, and okay. my product has just gone from strength to strength over the last couple of years. So, so it's very interesting to see that, whereas I know a lot of companies have folded, so. Do you think in t troubled times, people go to the brands that they feel really stand for something and that they feel comfortable with, maybe shared values of what they're feeling? Is that, is that part of it? Well, if you look at fashion, uh, Mayors has had two of the strongest years of their career. Yeah, so that would say that in fact, I mean I think the fact that you're all approached to actually do things to do with fabric and design and furniture, and you've even done a, a collection of hold all bags that have done remarkably well. Is it that people now know that you have all become brands? Is, that, is, that, is that what you've done? Without a doubt, it's the marketing side of things. And the whole world shops in a different way now. No one goes to stores, as we're just saying, retail is a problem. But the internet is the way it is. And so that's how these markets are being created. And everyone sees more of you. Your websites are the most important thing. Everyone out there, your website's important. You know, it's incredible. You know, I couldn't agree changed. with you more, Thomas. Yeah, I think, in fact, what it is, is, is that people are, are actually starting to do their own explorations, yes. aren't they? And, and it's funny how people lock into what they know as a brand, so they might see you on TV, they might read your books, you know, and suddenly they go, I really want to be part of this world. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity. It adds a confidence. Yeah, it does, an amazing confidence.